Hey guys, welcome back to another Frequently Asked Question video, and this is another question that I get asked once in a while, and I just see it kind of floating around out there, and hopefully making this video to answer that will sort of just save me some time from having to ever answer this question again, and hopefully it will just, just kind of settle this for a lot of people who are maybe considering this as an option, and that question is, is it okay to paint the parts while they're still on the runner, so basically just like taking the whole runner there with all the parts still attached on it and just spraying that, whether you're going to be spraying it uh, with like spray paint or an airbrush or even hand painting it, just with the parts while they're still on the runner. And I can understand why at first this may seem like it's going to save you some time because you've got everything all right there, you don't have to separate it all into like individual sticks or clips or however you're going to actually paint that. Uh, but the short answer is uh, no, never do that because it really is not going to save you any time in the long run if you actually want to get a good result. And it's just going to be more hassle really than it's worth. So what I wanted to do today is just quickly demonstrate why it's not a good idea to do that. Alright, so just for ease of demonstration, I've got some parts here. This is from a Zaku 2. And I'm just going to be using some spray paint again just for the demonstration's sake. This is actually this spray paint is quite old, so hopefully it works, but Let's just try this out. All right, it's a pretty crap spray job, but at least you guys will be able to get the idea. So I'm going to give this a few minutes to dry, and then we'll actually cut the part off. All right, so again, you guys will have to use a little bit of imagination here. Pretend that we just sprayed this whole entire runner, and now I want to actually cut out the parts and assemble my kit that's already been pre-painted. So I'm going to cut these out ever so carefully, and I'm going to leave a nub there. Uh, assuming that that's what you would probably do. And so I've got my part here, i got my part and it's all painted, ready to go. Still got the nub marks on there of course, so I want to remove those as carefully as I can. Obviously I can't sand this because it's painted, but I can just slice these off carefully with a knife, as you do, and we'll get that as close as we can, and of course trying not to damage the paint. And lo and behold, we're still going to have a bad nub mark on here. So of course, this is the problem of why you cannot paint parts while they're still in the runner, then you're left with all these nub marks. If that doesn't bother you, then go for it. But I think if you're gonna go through the trouble of painting your kit, you're probably not gonna want a whole bunch of ugly nub marks all over it. Now, uh, what you could do, and what I know some people have done, is then go with some paint and just touch that up. But again, if your whole purpose of painting parts on the runner was to save you time, then it's not really going to save you a whole lot of time if you're painting everything. Then after you cut out all the parts, clean up the nubs really super carefully, and then you have to uh, just go back and then touch that up, and then the paint's probably not going to match, and you're not going to have the right surface there. So it's just not going to work. So as you guys can see there, it's just not a good idea to paint on the runners, so hopefully that answers the question for any of you guys who may have been wondering that. And if you guys do have any other questions, comments, leave those down below. I'm going to be continuing this series with another video coming up pretty soon for you guys, answering another frequently asked question that I get a lot. So thank you guys as always for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye!